The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to take a look inside the Cruiser's factory in Oconto, Wisconsin, and see some of the ways the Cruiser does things that make them stand out. It all starts and ends with the people behind the company that work on each and every boat. Because Cruiser's craftsmen and women have been on the job for so long, the company is able to maintain their high level of workmanship and combine it with some technology. It's this combination of skilled hands and high tech that go into perfecting the end product. The components get sorted for which boat they'll be used on and then move to the finishing process. Here, components that were precision cut are finished in the spray booth. Every piece gets two coats on each pass, then the conveyor continues through the drying booth. This of course puts a cursory drying process to the finish. The pieces still get stacked onto a movable rack and are then moved to another area for extended drying time. The pieces then get sanded with a fine grit, then buffed to a high gloss and then on to more of the skilled workers for the final touches and the assembly process, with all the pieces being labeled along the way. Now something like King Starboard is a bit harder to work with than wood, so it gets precision cut on a CNC machine. These components get labeled right away for where they'll get used specifically and then stacked on a cart for a particular boat. Of course, some manufacturing processes have been tried and true for decades and those techniques work well today too. So if it isn't broke, don't fix it. At Cruisers, many components that are fabricated from fiberglass are still hand laid from molds but still to exacting specifications. Resin infusion is another process utilized here and it takes much more work to prepare a part for infusion. A vacuum bag is carefully applied to the mold with edges sealed against any air leaks. Hoses are attached and dipped into the resin. The clamps are released and it flows through the part. This product took hours to prep and about 15 minutes to fully infuse. This process creates a lighter component with the minimum of resin used and the strength is maintained. All that's left is to release it from the mold after its overnight cure. For components with large amounts of angles that fiberglass cloth won't wrap neatly around, chop guns are used that spray a stream of shredded fiberglass cloth and resin at the same time. That gets rolled out to remove any trapped air and ensure tight bonds. The entire hulls are still made from a mold. This one was recently removed and the edges will get trimmed out. If the work order calls for anti-fouling paint, then that bottom gets sanded first and then painted. And nothing moves on without first getting buffed to perfection. The upholstery shop is another area where you just can't replace the human touch. The tools may add some tech, but it's still the skilled hands that make the difference. Even the individual wiring harnesses are made in-house. All switch panels and placards, including my favorite. And this was surprising, even the rails and grab handles are made here. And there's a lot of pride with working at Cruisers. It's literally displayed right on the workers clothes. The employees made these shirts themselves and the proceeds from the sales go right back to the staff for office parties, holiday celebrations, cookouts. It has always been my family here, you know, a second family. We're here a lot together and um, we had the Cruiser pride and and it's just like a big family and I really, really enjoy working here. My pride came from, for cruisers, has been a long time. Um, and then my dad worked here for over 40 some years. Um, that's him right there. And um, I'm in his position. So he taught me when I was little how to upholster, making all kinds of small things. And I just wanted to do that when I got older. There's longevity here the generations of people. Um, you're talking 40 years. My husband just started a couple weeks ago. Um, it's, it's a great place to work. And with everything happening under one roof, there's a lot of collaboration between employees and departments. Everyone gets to talk to one another to ensure a workable finished product. There have been about six or seven family members that have worked here at one time. If I can put out a product and it looks nice, I'm happy with the way it looks. I just, I like what I do. I think every day that we go into work, we have a sense of pride and we want to see the end result and uh, a beautiful finished product come out the end of the door. Now this is interesting. A basic design will go from say, a napkin drawing to a computer workup and finally made into a graphic representation of the final product. That gets sent to another department and an actual prototype is made up to see how well it works in the real world. Can we turn around in this bathroom? Can we put on a shirt in this cabin? All worked out ahead of time before anything gets fabricated. 
So from the individual workers, to the pride they take in working here, to the combination of hands-on skills and high-tech, Cruisers Yachts is a company that can consistently produce quality boats and yachts that they're proud to stand behind. It all shows in the finished product each and every time. And that's my look behind the scenes at Cruisers Yachts. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.